I want to pick up on something you mentioned, which is the, which is you know, Gojek as a platform, right? Uh, and for those of us who are listening to this uh, podcast, I mean, how do you make the transition from a product to a platform? Are there certain elements that uh, you'll have to pick up on? Uh, um, and how do you design things for cross-use? Uh, how do you build things in a modular way so that different uh, functions within a company or different teams within a company or outside your organization can use these intuitively? How do you do that? How do you do the whole platform journey as such? That's a, that's a very, very broad uh, uh, topic, really. Uh, yeah. Let's start with, I mean, again, like, let, we can just start with what's the platform, right? Uh, let, maybe let me explain it the way I see Gojek, and then we can lead to how to sort of make it happen. Yeah. Um, one of the uh, strengths for Gojek was it's actually three distinct platforms coming together. So you have the payments as a platform you have lead gen platform and you have logistics platform. If you look at any of the Gojek offerings, uh, you will find that they are a combination of two or more platforms coming together. Like food delivery is actually lead gen uh, payments and logistics all put together. Uh, same for transport. What I mean by lead gen, by the way, is beyond a certain critical mass. You just have like your strength is that you have people coming in for one use case and finding something else. Right. Right. Like that's the lead gen as a platform. Uh, the, sec- I mean, the logistics and payments is fairly self-explanatory. And it's really the combination of these three allowed us to keep adding more and more and more use cases that leverage all of these three. And as you add more use case, uh, there is more reason for people to come in. And that actually increases, that strengthens your lead gen as a platform. The more use cases that you add, uh, the more efficiency you get on the logistics side, because now per driver income as well, uh, you can increase, which also means that you're reducing the subsidy and increasing the efficiency of the platform. So your platform actually gets strengthened that way. The more payment usage comes in, uh, the acceptance of your payment as a mechanism will actually improve. So leading to what, what is a platform, I would say, uh, there are so many definitions of it. Like the one definition that really makes sense over here is as the usage of it increases, the core value proposition also increases. Interesting. Right. Right. And at that point, I mean, again, that's a symptom. I would say this is not necessarily the definition, right? But you can say that as the number of people using a service increase, you find that the service offering itself is becoming better. The quality of the better can be more desirable. The quality of better can be more efficient. You assign your, you assign so, your quality metrics. So the more lead gen, the more payment, the more logistics essentially. Yeah. You have this sort of a loop, right? right. Which goes on strengthening something. Right. Uh, and that is a that is an interesting way of differentiating between platform versus something else. Sorry, we were so we were talking about like how do you go about building this? Right. Uh, one is you. It's a very difficult thing to say that you know what I'm going to build a platform and then you find it and then you sort of build it. Uh, I think the m- more important question to ask is when you discover one mm. within your own company in any way. How do you really identify it and how do you then onwards make sure that you are never going to weaken that platform for some short term gain? Okay. Uh, because it's really difficult to decide I'm going to build this as a platform and then build it. Most of the time you're starting with a use case. Hmm. You cannot start building a platform. You have to start with use cases, get critical masks so that you get into this virtuous loop where more usage makes the platform itself stronger. And that's what you're aiming for. Mm. Platform is something I believe that you identify, not necessarily design from the get go day zero saying I'm going to build it. Right. Right. And you just sort of add use cases uh, that strengthen your core value proposition, basically. Yeah. But I mean, which use cases do you really add? Because one of the arguments is so, as you add use cases, you're, taking, you're yeah. also then sp- spreading yourself too thin. Yeah. 
I mean, that's where the prioritization really comes in. Right. So just throwing things at the wall and trying to see what sticks also, I mean, there is balance, man. There, there, there is no really good answer. There right. is no formula over right. here, uh, but really try to look for where do you see the virtuous cycles mm. in your ecosystem, within your company, within your product, wherever it might be. You will see this in engineering. I mean, like, like a lot of companies will have their engineering platforms, right? Like what are the engineering platforms? It's just that as the more and more people start using it, something is happening over there, mm. right? Uh, either in terms of standardization, in terms of usage, in terms of just sheer investment, economies of scale, you will start seeing virtuous cycles saying that, hey, you know what, if I invest over there, large number of people get That's just within your own company, within a single function, you will start building platforms. Yeah. Um, 